enough to give a permanent home to the homeless rabbit. Good luck to Hemik in a film conference challenging the head of another well-known cinema franchise, said to create a route one has to put jeepneys regularly at a stationed place so the passengers can come every time with the certainty that a jeepney will always be there at the time that jeepney becomes a promise, but Kid Luck was saying was that they will come. Um, the chapter also explores other rhetoric surrounding the festival position as a, the festival's positioning of the site as a home for independent cinema and situating the current crops, crop of filmmakers as inherit, inheritors of the 1986 Wave Festival. Um, furthermore, the exhibition of Imaje Nacion, a collection of 20 shorts by 20 young filmmakers addressing the question of what happened in the decades following Edson One, um, which played in the open space of the multiplex for, for the duration of the festival, so rather not on the screen, but actually in the sort of open area where you buy popcorn and, and look at movie posters. Um, in the open space of the multiplex, surrounded by advertisements and card, cardboard cutouts for local Hollywood, local commercial cinema, as well as Hollywood cinema, perhaps inadvertently answers the question the collection poses. Thus, Indie Cine is a partnership between the newest incarnation of the Philippines' independent film scene and the most recent embodiment of Philippine exhibition practices, the Mall Multiplex. Moreover, the passage from the program positions Indie Cine within the Phil Philippine culture more broadly, imagining a Philippine cinema that is both independent of commercialism yet available to a broader Filipino audience, which in this imagining inhabits the space of the mall. Okay. So from this look at sort of the mall multiplex, which is the most common um, mode of viewing, uh, viewing cinema in the city, uh, it moves to a discussion of alternative spaces of exhibition. Um, so you can actually see you can actually see it at the photograph, but the, there's a film screening schedule on the on the chalkboard. Okay. Um, so Manila's few sites of alternative cinema exhibition play an important role in the constitution of the city's um, cinema, creating a subcultural scene that fosters the social connections and identities integral for artistic productions operating within limited means. Examining two site, main sites, Magnet Cafe Cine Catacuna, a daily screening series that ran from November 2006 to April 2008 um, under the programming of Kiri Delena, and Kubao Expos Mogwai, but with references to other instances of alternative cinema exhibitions, this chapter looks at the role of collectivity in defining cinema going in Manila. The chapter moves through a description of the sites themselves, the ways in which they engage local screen communities and cultivate translocal screen cultures. Um, so basically, uh, the first section looks at social networks of, of discovery. So the system of collectivity that plays an important role in Manila's independent film community also makes its way into spaces that provide exhibition, which are marketed through word of, word of mouth or texting. Um, potential passerby are perhaps unnecessary, however, as Magnet's marketing reveals a pre-existing notion of audience, targeting, and this is from their website, quote, local scenesters as well as filmmakers, film students, and film lovers, end quote. Um, the space addresses a very particular clientele um, of Manila's trendy and educated. The Gua X complex is similarly out of the way while the shops have received press coverage it's hard to find location and catering to a specialty market demarcates a particular clientele sometimes dependent on being in the know for an instance the postings on blogs describe this nice hidden place and quote or in literal illustrations of the space spaces sequestered nature <coughs> married attempts to find kubao x that entail getting lost eliciting clarification direction and even links to maps so um as one poster shares, and this is pretty typical. Uh, there are all these narratives of how difficult it was to find, and you know, showing up, and um, you know, it being five hours later than it was planned. Um, so these sort of appear in similar areas. Um, and other sites that describe the space sort of talk about how well we don't advertise, but you know, it's better because word, word of mouth works works more efficiently, or works more effectively. Um, so basically. You know, Sue and I planned an adventure to check out the Marikina Shoe Expo, um, and so they commuted via MRT and got lost. Okay. All right. So, like many of the Kabao X patrons, this poster describes being told about the place, which he eventually finds, but only after searching for it. 
both discursively and geographically positioned as a hidden gem in the city, um, the space plays a key role in, fostering, in the fostering of a scene, partly due to the logistics of its out-of-the-way location. Um, another sort of area that the chapter explores is this idea of communities of cinema pedagogy. So um, cinema education is manifest in both places through sort of workshops, um, but also in more uh, informal ways. So creating a community of viewers is a key to both Magnet and Cine Ketakuna, both of which have been successful in drawing their arts practitioner aficionado clientele. Um, many of the screenings that I've attended include members of the film's cast or crew among the audience members, and sometimes these filmmakers hold question and answer sessions following the films, while at other times they simply make themselves available for query and comments. This integration of filmmaker, film, and audience creates a community of vernacular cinema studies pedagogy that supplements the space's existing formal classes. Audience members are encouraged to engage with the works in ways that go beyond passive consumption. In addition, it foregrounds the role of authorship, providing a kind of on-site director's commentary that in many cases might necessitate approaching the director personally in a bar setting to inquire about an intriguing cinematic detail. It's hardly cultivating the aura of single-name auteurs, like a Kurosawa, Renault, uh, Broca, etc., common to academic cinema studies. Um, many of Manila's independent film directors operate in a decidedly different first-name system of personal interaction linking production, reception, and criticism. Though the youth of many of these directors might explain this flattening of, especially in the Philippines, typic, the uh, might explain the flattening of um, a typically hierarchical social structure. It is interesting. It is an interesting function of these alternative exhibition sites, harnessing their their multi-purposeness. Um, okay, so after looking at these sort of uh, communities of cinematic pedagogy, um, I also talk about this related idea of um, the sacred and the democratic, which is uh, used in cinema exhibition studies to talk about the difference between sort of immersion and distraction in terms of modes of viewing. Um, the communities that form within these spaces are rooted in an affective attachment to the cinematic text. However, this reverence for cinema occurs in ways very different from the protocols of art house cinema as understood in a Western context. So British scholar Dudley Andrews speaks of this Anglo-American context in his article on public rituals and private, private space. Um, so he asks, did the movies ever permit such distracted viewing? Perhaps in those early days when they were projected at local fairs or when traveling exhibitors set up screening in the village square, audiences would wander about, talk to their neighbors, and intermittently attend the films. They didn't submit to these movies, they glanced at them. Fairs, traveling exhibitors, um, Japanese benshi, parish and factory screenings, all of these presentations make use of images within rituals of a sort different from the Hollywood ritual of, quote, going to the movies. The quote above positions this mode of cinema going within a teleology of cinema cinema exhibition, moving from the democratic slash distracted to the immersed slash sacred. Um, and Andrew's notion of the sacral and the secular and their attendant links to cinema and television as modes of exhibition is a productive perspective from which to consider the implications of differential movie going among many contexts, um, not simply between media, um, because he's talking here specifically about the differences between film and television, um, but between cultures. Uh, certainly the religious ritual metaphor metaphor underscoring Andrew's argument stems from a very sort of Western notion of Christianity and thus requires finesse if brought elsewhere. Um, <coughs> due to the processes of globalization, however, the particular divides among modes of cinematic behavior are evident in the distinctions between the traditional Philippine movie house um, and the globalized space of the normal multiplex. Standards of cinema going behavior in Philippine movie houses playing local cinema include um, talking to one's neighbor. Although, you know, this is something that I, I found referenced in a book from the 1980s, and I would be interested in what you all sort of think of this because I, I haven't actually, I haven't actually noticed it in any of the sort of uh, mall multiplexes. Um, but um, from what I've read, <laughs> cinema. Standards of cinema going behavior in Philippine movie houses. Um, playing local cinema include talking to one's neighbor or entering and exiting during the film, for example. Um, these practices have abated somewhat in the advent of large scale multiplexes, which provide exhibition space for Hollywood foreign commercial works from other parts of Asia and local commercial cinema. However, these shifts are not quite 